So let's go over how to stabilize a shot. Once you find a shot, something like this one, it was handheld, so it's a bit shaky. Um, I wanna see if we can stabilize this though. What you're gonna do is down in the color tab, you're gonna wanna come over to where your tracker is and there's a little drop down that says stabilizer. So the idea here is that you just click stabilize. What it's doing now is it's analyzing the movement of the shot. Once it's done, we can full screen and see the stabilize that was currently at it. Okay, and as you can see on the outside, the shot's bouncing around. It's because for the majority of the stuff inside the frame, it's stabilized, but one thing that you're gonna want to like zoom, and what that will do is it will zoom in so that all the shaking will still be in the frame and you won't see any edges. If you're not getting good results right out of the gate, you can increase the ratio that you'll allow it to crop and then the amount that you want it to smooth. The more stabilized of a shot, like the smoother the shot, the more it's gonna crop in and the less you're gonna get in the frame. Luckily enough for this shot, it doesn't really, I personally don't think that it needs any more. So let's look at how the shot was with and without the stabilization. So here's with the stabilization on. And then this is, you know, with it out. There's a lot of like the little, um, jitters, micro jitters I guess they call them. And then if the camera's moving in space more than just panning, you might want to select one of these other ones if you're not getting good results. The other thing that you can do is you can come down to the classic stabilizer, and this is how the stabilizer used to be, is you would just click what axis do you want it to stabilize on, then you would click this and it would analyze and then once it did that, then you could come in and you could say the strength of the stabilization, how smooth it was. And you would also uh, be able to click points as well if that was a thing that you wanted to do. But nine times out of 10, the new stabilizer is perfectly fine. So to know if your uh, shot is stabilized, you'll see this little guy down here. That just means that there's a, some type of tracking information on that shot. But sometimes you do see weird things, like if you can see right in here, it almost like, I don't know, it just kind of looks a little weird and that's just because the shutter speed that the camera was at, there's a little bit of motion blur, but then you're also stabilizing it. So sometimes you get some weird artifacts and there's not a lot that you can do really to fix that if you do get that kind of a thing. My suggestion would just be to use the minimum stabilization that you need and then move on. So that's about it. I hope that helped with getting your shots stabilized within DaVinci Resolve.